Okay, now we're going to talk about identifying and defining the four oops, word parts as well as the combining form. Okay, that's what we're going to work on here in this video. So, for example, for the four word parts, there are four of them, and we may do work through some examples as well. Word root is the fundamental meaning of a medical term. It is the core of the word. Okay, the core of the word. The prefix is attached to the beginning of a medical term and it's used to modify its meaning. So prefix, hopefully we know from English, goes at the beginning. Same thing with medical terminology. A suffix is going to be attached to the end to modify its meaning. And then a combining vowel is going to be used to ease with pronunciation, typically going to be an O when we see it in medical terminology. Now, here are the formal fancy guidelines for using combining vowels. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and mention it to you, but uh, you know, we're learning, so don't get too caught up in this. All right, the first two you'll notice you're combining the same two things. You're combining a word root and a suffix, and a word root and a suffix. And essentially what has to happen is, if you're connecting the word root and the suffix, a combining vowel is used if the suffix does not begin with a vowel. So here, yes, you have it. It's arthropathy, okay? Pathy is, does not begin with a vowel, so we put the O in there. If you have a word root and a suffix, the combining vowel is usually not used if the suffix begins with a vowel. So we say hepatic. We don't say hepatoic. Okay? Now, when you connect two word roots, a combining vowel is typically used. Okay? Like I said, don't get too caught up in this. I'm not going to ask you on a test question what these rules are, and you'll get the hang of it with more practice. But anyway, you've got two word roots, osti and arth. The O is there. Okay? So usually if you have two word roots, it's a yes. Now, when you're connecting a prefix and a word root, now there's a mistake here. You don't need the upper and lower case small caps. I'm not sure where that came from. It's not that way in your textbook. But when connecting a prefix and a word, a word root, a combining vowel is typically not used. Okay, so that's why you have subhepatic, no um, vowel there. Okay? All right, what do we mean? Well, let's see examples. Um, these are some of the terms that we'll use a lot. Um, word roots, things like arth means joint. Ven means vein, that one's pretty simple. Hepat means liver, osti means bone, okay? Prefixes, you are always notice a prefix because a prefix has the little line after it. Um, intra is within, sub is under. Suffixes are always going to have the line at the beginning because they come at the end of a word. Itis is inflammation, ick is pertaining to. Um, us or aus is also pertaining to, so you'll see both of these kind of mean the same thing. And then pathy is disease, okay? Pathy or path, um, yeah, however you want to say it. And our combining vowel, like we said, is most of the time going to be O. Okay, so review question. The word part that is the core of a word. Core of a word is going to be the root. Okay, I always like to think that the root goes into the core. I don't know, however you want to remember it. But the core of the word is going to be the word root. Um, combining form is going to be the word root and the combining vowel. So for example, arthro, hepato, vein, vino, osteo, that is what we call the combining form. And that's, like we said, when you just put those things together is what that's going to look like. All right, um, here's again just a summary. You've got word root, suffix, prefix, combining vowel, combining form. So this just kind of summarizes everything. This is on page nine in your textbook. All right, basic rules. All medical terminology terms have at least one word root. Not all medical terms will have a prefix, suffix, or combining vowel. Combining vowels are used to connect word roots or word roots to suffixes. And when a suffix begins with a vowel, the combining vowel is usually not, not used. Okay, like all good things, you see the rules, and yeah, that's like gibberish. So let's do some examples and see where we get there. Also, when connecting two word roots, a combining vowel is usually used, even if vowels are present at the junction. For example, osteoarthritis. Usually medical terms, so that's why the vowel is going to be there. That's what they're trying to show you there. Both word roots. Usually medical terms are defined by starting at the end of the term and then going back to the beginning. So typically we're going to do the suffix first, which I know doesn't necessarily make sense, but that's what we're going to do. So for example, itis is the, um, I'm going to be able to write here, Let's see if we can do this. Itis is the suffix. Itis means inflammation. So there's our suffix. There's a word root. 
our combining vowel and a word root. So we start with the suffix first. So we have inflammation of the bone, which is osteo, and joints, which is arthro. Okay, that's how you break that down. Um, few terms are more easily and accurately defined by starting at the beginning of the term. So heaven forbid we do the same things. Let's break the rules. Well, melanoma, melan means black, oma means tumor. And we usually still refer to this as a black tumor. We don't say tumor black. So I guess the easiest way would just be always start with the end first, and then if it doesn't make sense, then switch it, because we're not going to follow the rules 100% of the time with medical terminology anyway. Okay, as a review, if vowels are present at the junction of two word roots in a medical term, a combining vowel is usually dun, 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 still used. Between two word roots, whoa, all over the place here. Between two word roots, you're still going to have a vowel. Osteo, arth, is what we're used to. Okay, we're going to do some examples. Um, I'm going to pause here and do this in another video. Okay? I hope that.